Hi there, I'm making a new update on my chess program here. I have implemented the, uh, the this function called randomize move list. Here it is. Um, here's the function. Um, starts. Starts here. Um, the name of the function is a randomize move list. It's a function. It's not a subroutine. So it's going to return a value. Uh, the value it starts with is n string, and that is going to be that is going to be the move list, which every four characters in the string is going to contain a new move. So it's going to this function here. It's going to start at four. It's going to start at i equals zero to the length of n string and it's going to step 4 because the, every move is 4 characters. Now this is going to grab that the, the current move that it's, that it's searching. Uh, the f string here equals mid string is, is, a, is a function built into Visual Basic if you know what that does and it's going to take uh, mid string out of n string starting at, po at point i which is going to be whatever this is in the for statement and for uh, a completion of four characters total. So what that does is uh, that just grabs the next move. So it grabs the first move, grabs the second move, next time it goes around it grabs the third move, etc, etc, all the way until it hits the end. And when it hits the end it just exits the four next loop. Um, and here, uh, after we've grabbed a move, um, we generate a random number that's an integer, an integer, um, that's between 0 and 9 for a total of, of 10. So 10 possible integers it can return. And here I've dimmed string 0 uh, through string 1, string 2, string 3, string 4, string 5, string 6, 7, 8, all the way up to string 9. And, um, so those are strings that are all ready to use and they start out empty. So what's going to happen here is it's going to select the case of x, which is going to be a random number each time from 0 to 9. And um, so my cases here are all set, uh, as you can see, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And each time it hits that case, it adds a string to the corresponding string uh, string name of string 0 through string 9 and it starts with this, whatever's already in the string 0 in this case if we hit 0 and it adds it to whatever's already in string 0 to it and it equals whatever it adds string 0 to f string which is going to be the uh, the move that is next one to be handed down so the, the first move might be end up on a 4 case 4 and go on to string 4 and then it, the next move might be um, uh, the next move parsed out might end up 2 and it would end up on string and it be added to string 2 and then etc etc like might be going 9 7 0 5 3 7 8 8 3 2, 5, 9, etc, etc. And then finally, when I add all of the string 0, string 1, string 2, string 3, string 4, string 5, string 6, string 7, string 8, string 9, uh, all together, I get a complete move list um, that's the same move list as what I started with, except now it's in a completely randomized order, which is exactly what I want and that that string ends up in n string so we're just reusing the same one we started with but now it's going to equal something uh it's going to equal the same move list in completely different order and then we pass n string to the the name of the function which uh passes the variable when it exits the function which is the next which is the next instruction here end function so it's going to exit the function with the the, the uh the move list randomized and that's the uh, 
the point of the randomized move list function. And this is really good in chess or possibly other uh, computer games where you want to randomize a move list, possibly checkers or even possibly a card game. I don't know, card games might do it more the style the way people, ordinary people, uh, um, the way ordinary people shuffle cards, but maybe, maybe not. There's other ways to, to randomize. There's other places where you need a, a list of things randomized, and that would be coming really handy because it doesn't put any doubles of the same moves in, and it doesn't forget any or leave any out in the final uh, concatenation of the strings. So here, um, so this is the the, uh, the move list generator. This is the function right here, blacklist. This is going to generate it for the black pieces and it's got checks in the first part, pins, and then bl black king side, uh, the side to move. This is what that means. Uh, false, is that's just an extra space added there on passant is going to equal whatever, whatever the ampassant situation is, which is usually uh, off. Um, so that's going to generate the move list in N here, and then we pass that in to the randomized move list, and it's going to output to this end string here. So we're reusing the same name of the string for the string list, but it's going to end up being a different, a uh, different string altogether, containing the same combinations of moves but in a different order so in the situation where um, where n is empty then and checks is is empty then checks is not empty then the situation is a checkmate if n string is empty if the move list is empty and checks is empty then it's a stalemate etc etc this is just the main this is the alpha beta code here where it calls the uh, randomized move list function and that's it's that's really handy in an alpha beta in an alpha beta situation where you're calling calling moves in an alpha beta you want the move list randomized and that's one of, that's one of the requirements for alpha beta, alpha beta uh, the, the general idea of alpha beta function to work is you have to have a randomized move list or some way to Find the, and also it's a good idea to have pruning or killer nodes to push captures and stuff to the front of the move list. And I really should add that in later, but I'm feeling kind of lazy now. And I'm just going to end this video now. Um, thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Please subscribe. I need subscribers. Um, this is the end of uh, my second update for my... Visual Basic program and Visual Basic 6 chess program uh, vi videos. It's uh, number two. So thanks for watching and have a great day.